G'day, I'm Isaac Butterfield, ghost hunting extraordinaire. Two years ago, my team and I visited the most haunted jail in Australia, Maitland Jail, where we captured some incredible footage. Footsteps. Absolutely footsteps. Do you know anyone around this table? Now, post-pandemic, two years to the day, we are returning to Maitland Jail to explore further. If you can communicate with us, that would be great. Whoa. Delve deeper. Something squeaked. What the fuck was that? And to finally capture concrete evidence of paranormal phenomena. Come on into the circle here. Did you hear that? I heard that. Well, that's fucking horrifying. <laughs> okay, let's go and have a look at probably Maitland Jail's most famous Infamous. inmate. And so, of course, we're talking about Ivan Milat. Australia's most pr prolific yeah. serial killer. Now, I can't tell you how long that has been locked like that, so you're going to be the first one that goes in there for a really, really long time. jail housed some of the most violent, cruel and evil murderers, rapists and villains in Australia's history, making it the longest continually operating maximum security jail in the country. It only closed in 1998. The true history of Maitland Jail is rich with stories of harsh punishments, murders, floggings, hangings, violent inmates, riots, protests, and even escape attempts. You can discover the stories of Maitland Jail for yourself by exploring with a self-guided tour or by joining one of the several special themed tours covering the dark history, true crimes, amazing escapes, and even actual experiences of prison officers. www.maitlandjail.com.au and by using the code BUTSMAN, you will get an amazing guided tour at concessional rates. The offer's for one year from the date of this upload, so ladies and gentlemen, make sure you get out there and support this great place who looked after us and were amazing hosts for this ghost hunt. Overlooking every inch of Maitland Jail are the guard towers. This is where the only armed guards in the jail patrol to offer cover and protection to prison guards. On one of the walls in B Wing and in other parts of the jail, there are bullet holes from the warning shots that, if ignored, would lead to a fatal one. Inside the walls of Maitland Jail, there is a large grassy exercise field that was used in latter days for games of football and other outdoor sports. While many visitors take a break from their tours to sit in the grass and enjoy the sun on their face, many are unaware of the dark history and brutal things that happened where they sit. The playing field was one location where excessive floggings and executions would take place in Maitland. Jail. The first eight hangings were outside the front of the gates of the prison and were public events. Huge crowds were attracted and many of these people in the crowds were women and children. When it was no longer considered civilised to have public executions, a gallows was erected as needed towards the back of the field and the last eight murderers and a rapist met their ultimate demise at the hangman's noose in this unsuspecting picnic area. The last person to die in custody in Maitland Jail was a notorious Marrickville councillor turned drug lord, George Savas. Savas was placed under tight security in a modern cell in Five Wing 
The prison authorities of the day thwarted a audacious escape plan that would see him and Ivan Milat overpower or kill the guards, scale the walls and make it outside of the jail. When he died, the subsequent autopsy and inquest concluded that Savas died by suicide. George Savas hung himself from a latch above the door of his cell. Believe it or not, the cell itself has not been altered since the day of his death. To this very moment, it is a crime scene. The bloody cloth he used to hang himself is now on show at the jail for everyone to see. The violence of this jail is unlike any other, making itself a perfect location to revisit and investigate. So, without further ado, let's delve into it. G'day ladies and gentlemen, we are here in Australia's most haunted prison and I'm in the chapel which makes it extremely creepy and the reason we are here is well this is where we left off last time we were in this venue. It is such an interesting place to be, so much death destruction, violence, interesting characters that have lived their lives and some of their lives have ended here. And the last episode we shot here, a very interesting episode, we ended it here in the chapel with a table tipping exercise where we got the name of my co-host Little Dixon's grandfather and that was a very emotional affair and it was something that we thought we needed to come back and experience one more time and go and really discover parts of the jail that we didn't have time to discover in our first trip here. Now, the first time we were here was two years ago and it was the first time that we all met as a crew and it was a very, very interesting documentary to shoot and we got to see some creepy things. We had the table tip and we had the creepy footsteps. We were blindfolded into Satan's cell, all the yep. creepy babies. Yep. I'll tell you what, what have we got planned tonight? Oh, well, we're going to a few areas that we never got to last time because it's quite a big location. So Massive. We're, yeah, we're heading to the shower block where you know that you don't drop the soap. Yes, well, Ooh. why is the shower block a place that you think is quite, well, Renata, why do you think it is uh, an interesting, a creepy place? Well, it was a place where the prisoners were allowed to do their thing oh. to themselves and each other <laughs> without the right. interference of... Okay the prison guards, yes. and there were many things that happened in there that have literally left their mark. There was a big escape from there as well. Uh, and it's an interesting place where we take our people who go in for our tours. They always say that something is going on there in the shower block. So you do tours here all the time? Absolutely. Well, come and bloody check out the ghost grannies and do their tour. I'm sure you know where to find them. You go to bloody ghostgrannies.com. What is it? <laughs> Maitland that sounds no, like a... go straight to Maitland Jail. <laughs> that sounds like an interesting website, ghostgrannies.com. But yeah, check out Maitland Jail. <laughs> no. Come and see the ghost grannies in action. <laughs> no. um, what do you think of Little Dixon? Last time we were here, it was a bit, it was a full on event. Oof. It was. Oh, yeah. It was a full-on event. Um, mm -hmm. How do you feel coming back in here tonight? Excited, but a bit nervy. Bit nervy? Yeah. What do you think is going to happen? Because you've been talking all week about yep. you want to have a proper yep. experience. Yep. I just want to have well, a moment where I go... Where it's proven yes. beyond reasonable doubt that, yep. that it, there is something paranormal happening. Yep. And that is something we always, we're all mm. looking for all the time, and it happens so rarely. Mm -hmm. It's not like what you see on the ghost hunting TV shows. I have seen a full apparition here at the jail. So what happened when you saw that full apparition here? Uh, I, I was walking with a tour group behind me. I'd opened the jail that night. There was nobody by that description that was on the tour. My husband came from the other direction with his tour group. We met in the middle. And uh, as I turned around to make sure that, that my group was behind me, the person that was in front of me had disappeared. And it was a section of the jail where there were no exits. Right. So I, I have no idea who that was. Well, talking about sections of the jail where there are no exits, only entries, let's head to the shower block. Ooh, let's Ooh, go. yes. So, as we were saying the other day, we yep. need to be able to have an experience here tonight. That's what yep. the people want to see. So I'm yep. thinking, let's go in and split up. Split up. Yep. Yeah. Otherwise, Something's more likely to happen to us if we're not, I guess. That's when the imagination's like, yeah. running wild yep. and all that type of yep. stuff. So we'll split up, we'll go in, we'll freak each other out. Yep. And um, hopefully, hopefully have a chat to some ghouls. We'll catch something and you'll have your first experience. 
This is the main shower. Room. This was a creepy place to be. I don't know what it was about it. Just walking in here, it was just something was off. Yeah, I've got goosebumps. Yeah, and I mean, every prison show you see, people get attacked in the showers. Yeah. These things here look dangerous. Yeah. Almost like you hang someone's nose off that. Yeah, yeah. well, we heard that story this afternoon. We have heard we the about... story that apparently people would come in and you'd pick someone up, put their nostrils on it, and slide the back of their head down, which seems oh. like a pretty horrifying uh, Nasty event. Nasty way to go. Nasty way to so go. So this it's... was a really violent area. This is where deals were done, and uh, if you hadn't followed the rules, uh, revenge they could take revenge in here. Sure. And we were told that the guards didn't venture inside here. Okay. That they would guard from the door. So whatever happened in here, whatever, happened. whatever happens goes. Yep. Wow. Okay, that's horrifying. And this is one of the places where they tried to escape from. Mm. Because this is actually built outside of the, yeah. the walls of the jail. And I don't know if you can see those mm. air vents there. They tried to escape through those. They're tiny. And look how narrow it goes. So do people get out of here? They got onto the yes, roof, didn't seven. they? Seven, seven yeah. escaped. The magnificent yeah, seven. seven. They were all captured. Yep. Um, but yeah, I think it took them six months to organise themselves with it all. Wow. Probably took them six months to lose the weight <laughs> to, <laughs> to get up into those. I would get my left thigh through that. <laughs> <laughs> but how desperate would you have been to do that? Yeah. And. For those six months, that would have had to be a secret. So anyone that came in here that was doing the showers with these guys would have had to hold that secret of that being created. So you'll notice we've got some K2 meters propped up against the shower stalls. So we're gonna be watching those green lights to see if we get any flashes there. So any sort of anomalies that occur within the electromagnetic field around you guys will show up by flashes there. And then we've got the REM pod set up in front. So once again, if any energy is moving around there so that's strong enough to set these off, that's what we'll start to hear. Mm -hmm. I wanna do it too. Ooh. Yep. <laughs> so as you can see, it has to get pretty close mm. yeah. yep, for it to go off. The energy has to really affect that little box. So let's see what happens. I want you both to turn around and face the wall. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yuck. Yeah. So again, what is happening right now is that you can't see if anything is coming up behind you. Mm -hmm. You don't know what's going on because you are just too focused on that wall and that is it. But I'm going to invite the spirits that are here right now to come and interact with you because we've got two people in here that are new to this site, boys, and you might want to show them the ropes. You might want to show them what new people had to go through when they came into the jail. So I want you both to spread your legs and hands up and on the wall. All right. So this is a very open and vulnerable position here. And this is where we can get our spirits that are here to come and fill them up, see where they have the money stashed, see where they have the drugs stashed. I heard that they came in with drugs. They're new tonight and they've got some drugs situated on them somewhere. And you guys, you need to find where they are. Come on, boys. Give it your best shot. There they are, look. You can do anything with those two now. I bet you haven't seen a pair like that for years. Especially the big boy there on the left-hand side, he thinks he's really smart. You show him who's boss. I think he's giving you an offering there. Come on, boys. <laughs> I'm ready. I can see the dark stain starting to pop out there already. Oh. He's getting worried. Now, what you meant then? <laughs> uh, either of you feeling anything happening around you? No. That's okay. It's all right. 
Okay, try without the lights on now. So just, just turn around and face the, the wall. Leave your hands down by your side. I'm calling in the prisoners of the jail. We've brought fresh meat for you. We've even brought a female for you. And one that thinks he's really tough and he thinks his beard is really lush and gorgeous. So I have a feeling that he might be just what you're looking for. I want you to go over to that pair and touch them. I want you to run your finger down from the top of their head, right down their neck, down their backbone, slide it right down to the small of their back, and then slip your finger oh. Jesus Christ, to wherever man. you should choose. She sounds like my vows. Do you, pair give permission for the inmates of Maitland Jail to interact with you tonight? Yes. yes, please touch me. Interact with me, boys. I'm here. I'm oiled up. Hands up on the top. Spread your legs. Now put your head onto the metal part, but leave your feet where it is. There you are, lads. Put them in a nice position for you now. Push them against the wall. That would be really good. Give them a shove. Either of them. A nice big shove up against the wall. Show them who's boss. Both of you, stand up straight. Put your hands behind your backs. Feet right together. Okay. Now you can push them. I'm going to count to three, and I want you to put them off balance. One. Two. Three. Push them. Push them. Oh, you're all gutless. What have you got? Is that all you can do? I saw he sort of leaned forward a little bit, but I want him to lose his balance. Did you both feel anything there? No. Not I, really. I, I feel very, I feel uneasy, but nothing balanced. I think I'm just, my balance is no good from too okay. many concussions playing for you. Mm. Just a bit of CTE flaring up. <laughs> okay. But no, I don't feel uneasy either. Either, Like, I just feel like there's nothing happening. Mm -hmm. I wonder what would happen if we all left here and we left you in here by yourself. Would you feel so comfortable? I think we should try it. OK. So try it, we did. OK. We're shutting the door. Well, that's fucking horrifying. <laughs> Little Dicky, how are you? Oh, I'm here. So you're in the bath? Yep, I'm in the bath. I'm ready. I'm here, boys. <sighs> All right, I'm going to turn around. Shower. Hello? Are we here with anyone tonight? We've come here to capture you on camera. Are you too scared? Are you fearful? What is it? Show us how tough you are. Come on, mate. I'm in your bathtub. Do you not like that we're here? I just heard her. To the right of me. Mm. Almost like a... Breath? No, like this, like my, my, this on my foot. Can you knock for me like this? I'm 
I'm in your bathtub. Does that upset you that a weak woman's in your bathtub? This is where all the boys hung out. This is where the big dogs of the prison hung out. I'm just a little lady, I don't belong in here. I don't know if it's that door over there that's making noise or if there's something in that corner. Do you want me to go near it? Well, um, I'll have a look, I'll have a look. I might have a wander around. That's creepy. Is anyone in with us? Look at this. Boys. Whoa. Okay. That was creepy. Thank you. Is there anybody in here with us? If you can touch that device there, you can let us know. Tell us you're here. Is there anyone in this bathtub? Can you hear me? When you think about it, there would have been people getting shanked in here, attacked, raped. I'm just standing over here in the shower. Horrible shit going on in here. If you can communicate with us, that would be great. Whoa. Do you not like that there's a woman in your shower? Thank you for that. Thank you. That wasn't your foot? No, I swear on my life. Show, show everyone how close your foot has to be. See? That's fucking crazy. Where were you standing when that went off? Here. Fuck, that's creepy. I've never seen them go off before. I haven't either. <laughs> Give us a bang, boys. Come on. One more. Can you reply to this? This mustn't have been a scary place at all. Everyone's saying how, how horrifying this bathroom is. That was, what was that? Did you hear that? Yeah. Something squeaked. Is that your foot? No, something squeaked. I fucking hope it's them people outside. God, that was pretty fucking... Was that you? What the fuck was that? This mustn't have been a scary place at all. Everyone's saying how... how horrifying this bathroom is. Something squeaked. Something squeaked. That was interesting. Okay. Um, we had some reactions. We had some. Now, I was saying to Renata before we started filming that I have never seen one of those REM pods go off. That was ever. weird. On 10 episodes. Yep. Never seen one. And Claire was standing in that shower thing and you had to go up right next to it to make it go off. Yep. But it was going off. We yep. heard some weird noises, we went around. Lots of clanging. Clanging, clanging. Yep. You were tormenting everyone. Yes. Oh, good on you, Claire. I tried. You, <laughs> I tried to be brave. Did you channel me? I tried, yes. What did you say before? You were... Um, I was trying to play up that there was a woman in here and that it was a lot of male energy. So I sort of was just like, there's a woman in your bathtub. Like, that's not cool. And I was like, aren't you all meant to be the tough guys, big tough men? Come and on. I saw you shadow boxing at and one I point. I went, Zzz. <laughs> No, I didn't. I'm okay. so proud. Well, that's you. good. We had something. We had some experiences. But, the, yeah, it going off, it was, yeah. That's weird. It was Because you have to get closer. Yep. Where are we off to next? Oh, we're going to go and head to above the kitchens, which doesn't sound terribly exciting. Why are we going above kitchens? Well, the kitchen itself is where all the sharp implements and things were. But before it was a kitchen, it was yeah. actually a morgue. That sounds very unhygienic. Yeah. Became the kitchen. How fantastic. Let's head over to the morgue slash kitchen. So Anne 
has laid out some items that are contraband, that are seen as very valuable inside the prison. Some cash, some uh, playing cards, some cigarettes, some matches, that type of thing. Something that would be used as currency, obviously money would be as well. What are we trying to elicit here? Well, we're trying to elicit a reaction. Yes. We're hoping that they're going to be tempted by that and they're going to come through this circle of cat balls. So we have cat balls everywhere around here and the way they go off is if they're touched. Yeah. So they have to be touched. Not just like a little tap next to it. it has to be actually touched. Yeah, so let's see if we can get anything happening on those cat balls. Okay. And we're going to have some headphones on too, aren't we? Yes. We are going to be using the bionic ear, Ooh. which uh, is a parabolic dish with a microphone inside it, and we're going to ask some questions and see if we can uh, hear anything that we wouldn't be able to hear with our own ears. Okay. So when Renata presses the trigger on that uh, sound device, the bionic ears, everything is amplified, and it sounds very crystal clear. You can hear the crickets outside. You know, I can't hear them right now. You put these on, you can hear the crickets outside. I assume this is to pick up any whispers, any noises, any doors shutting yep. throughout the prison that we possibly can't hear. We're going to hear a little bit. Okay, lights are down now. Come on through. Come on into the circle here. We've got some money here. We know you want some. We can use it to buy yourself some stuff here. Maybe some drugs. Maybe some more cigarettes. Come on, you walk in. Walk in and take whatever you want. I could have sworn I heard a couple of steps. Come closer. I heard a, like a click, I heard a couple of clicks. I actually heard what sounded like a breath. Oh. What's so freaky about this recording is no one on set was moving at the time of these noises. It's really quite spooky. What if they're not from the kitchen? What if they're from the morgue? Were you brought here below us? I remember when I was here with my friend and I said, don't worry, there's nothing they can do, they can't hurt us. And on my recorder you said, Where are you now? You big chicken. Did you hear that? I heard that. Was that a laugh? Jesus, what it was, was that? A laugh. Was that yeah. a <laughs> No, it was a ha 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 ha. That was a laugh. That was a... Who the fuck was that? What did you say before that? Um, I was saying that they'd said, I'll kill you. And I said, where are you now? You're a big chicken. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. That was it. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait, did you do that then? No, I didn't do that. That wasn't us. And wow. I couldn't hear anything here. Recorder's on. I couldn't hear anything out here at all. Fuck, I hope we caught that. That was creepy. Who did that laugh? Did you wrap the bodies up after they died? You thought that was funny, didn't you? You loved that job. You used to pretend you were choking them to death when they were already dead. Jesus Christ, Renata. <laughs> I can see you with your hands around their throats. You're a sick bastard. Are you picking that up psychically? Yep. Is there a wooden floor below us or above us? Cement. Sorry? 
total cement. What did you hear? I just thought I heard that the creaking of wood. I swear I heard it. They were bangs. I could. They were audible. I could hear those. For me, it sounded like a, a growl or a. Yeah. Oh. Why are you still here? Do I hear that again? Yeah. It's like um, speech, but you can't make out what it is. What direction is it coming from? I reckon that it's way. It's hard to tell with because it's all so boomy. That was cool. So what did you hear? You heard a growl. At the start, I heard like a laughter. Oh, oh, oh. It was like a, oh, <laughs> a laugh. And then after that, it was like a. <laughs> choke? Like a Could choke? Be. Maybe. I heard the little laugh and that was it. Like a, the first two. I didn't hear anything else. Oh, I thought it was a dog barking, the second one. And then, but it was, I don't know, it didn't sound like a dog bark. It sounded I'll like a... Check the recorder uh, and we'll uh, find uh, out. Okay, cool. Okay, let's go and have a look at probably Maitland Jail's most famous Infamous. inmate. Yes. Infamous, yes. inmate. What can you tell me about this inmate? Well, this inmate was here for a short period of time, but he certainly left his mark. Uh, everyone in the jail knew he was coming. Everyone in the jail knew he was here. And uh, he would have had his associations built up already before he came. Uh, and here we have the alleged cell in Five Wing where this particular person stayed for a period of time. And so, of course, we're talking about Ivan Milat. Yeah. Australia's most prolific yeah. serial killer. Uh, and there are as many legends about him and as many urban, urban legends and untruths as there are truths and the hard thing is to know what is the truth or not. Mm. So we've been told by many, many people that this was his cell and um, other than the fact that someone has carved Ivan <laughs> in that panel up there, which is like, hello, um, this is the only cell in this wing and we are in five wing, which was maximum security, uh, that has this panel that has been put up. Apparently, this was put here so that whoever was inside couldn't throw urine or poo well, through those holes. I was here when I was in year seven or eight yep. and we were told by an ex-prisoner um, yep. that was doing the tour at the time but that is where Ivan stayed and yep. he would throw shit and piss yep. at the guards so they they welded in yep. this thick metal plate to stop him from throwing his excrement yep. at people. Now whether that's a, a legend or whatever, this is the only one that has it. Yep. So whoever was in here did that. Was Meant doing business. That. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Flinging shit. Mm. Now, now you, you want to get in here. I do, but I, I've noticed that there is a lock on the door. Right. And thankfully, Woo -hoo. Ivan, you might remember one of these. Oh, this God. is a knife. Ivan, we're going to come into your sanctuary. So you let's uh, wow. Let's uh, go in. Let's go in. Now, I can't tell you how long that has been locked like that, so you're going to be the first one that goes in there for a really, really long time. Ooh. Hello. Oh, I don't know how to do that. What is What are the first words that come to your mind while you're in there? As soon as you said that backpack, I bet obviously I'm in the backpack a murderer's cell, so. 
Okay, but what if he was talking to you when you walked in? What would he have said to you? Fuck off. Yep. They're the first two words I heard. Really? Yeah, when you said I'm going in. I sort of feel like he's just like, nah. And as you said, he was only here for a short period of time. Yep. He lived a long period of time in other jails, but... I don't know this is maximum security, but these feel like bigger cells. Yeah, well, they are bigger cells. Yeah. There's a lot more room. I guess they had to walk around and... I know there would have been a bed there, but... Do you think he would have paced a lot in there? If there was some room to pace, would he pace? I feel like this would have been the walk he'd do all day. I don't think a, a dude like Ivan Malap would sit still. Yeah. I think he's always moving around, thinking about what he's done, what he's got away with. Maybe. Yeah. Or blaming other people. Maybe. Who are who are who am I? I'm Isaac. Who are you? It sounded like you went to say Ivan. It really sounded like you went to say Ivan. Is this Ivan in my lap? Yes. You hear that? That was a yes. What did you, Why are you in here? Why are you here? Ivan, what did you do? Ivan, you're dead now. You're dead now. How does that feel? They're outside. Outside? Are you outside? Yes, yes, yes. Why are you outside? Come in. Come into the cell with us. Do you have any regrets? Yes or no? Do you have a remorse? Are you sorry for what you've done? The girls? We're listening. What do you want to tell us? We're listening. Out. You want us to get out? Yes, yes, yes. All right. We're listening. Do you want to tell us anything before we go? We're listening to you. They keep saying outside. Why don't you go and stand outside just for a second? All right, Connor. We're coming outside. We're coming, Ivan. Oh, shit. I forgot about the we're out here. What would you like? What do you want to say? Is this where you'd spend your time? Tell Australia your message, Ivan. I want everyone to be happy. <laughs> like and subscribe. Ivan. Ivan, are you... Are you ashamed of the things you did? Of the people you killed? I feel like he keeps saying over and over again, nah, listen. What do you think when I say Belangelo State what? Belangelo State Forest. You can try the spirit box though. You gonna try the spirit box? What do we think when I say Belangelo State Forest? You died. Not true. Did you kill those people? What? I said, did you kill those people? Did he just say, what, pardon me? I'm not even joking. <laughs> did you kill those people? How did you kill them? Did you use a knife? A gun? Did you strangle them? Yes? Oh, yes. That was a yes. Yes. Do you guys want to ask something? How many more bodies are still to be found? 
What was the name of the forest you dumped those bodies in? Belangolo, fuck me, did you hear that? That did sound like Belangolo. That did sound like Belangolo. That really did sound, did you hear that? That did sound like Belangolo. Why did you kill people? Pain? Pain, that's what I heard. Did you go to hell? Yep. What's it like down there? So. It's just us now. Little diggy. Yep. Hello. Hello. So we've decided that the move here is to actually go and explore. Yep. Be we. That's what we're in at the moment. And we thought the reason we would do this is because we've got some cool stuff tonight, some cool EVPs, all that type of stuff, but we haven't had a chance to just be mm. alone with the night vision cameras. In the darkness, being still. Oh, you fucking creep. Oh, I know. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? It sounded like a... Oh, that was creepy as. Super creepy. Okay, so what that sounded like was just above our heads. You can see that. It is... Um, what do you call that? Wire? Thick wire? in here with us. It's amazing how much more scary. Oh, it's heaps more fucking scary. When it's, when it's just us. Is there anyone in here? Hello? I'm going to do a knock. Can you knock back for us? If there's anyone in here with us, can you please stomp back? Did you hear that? It's like a grumble. I thought it was foot like. I'm gonna do it again. Your turn. Absolutely. I don't um, know why. Um, yeah. Yeah, it found some sense. I was like, right. so watched. It's yuck. And it's fucking creepy. It's a, it's so fucked how, like, it's incredible how much more vulnerable you feel when Anne and Renata aren't here. I know, I always feel us. safe with Anne Renata. Yeah, like, they're going to fucking defend us like the Ghostbusters. This is your last chance. We've got our K2 meter. Light it up. Well, we're gone. We're leaving. We're going. Tell us you're better than what people think. Surely you weren't all bad, guys. And thus concludes a night of investigation at Australia's most haunted jail. To recap, we picked up some weird movements with the REM pods. If you can communicate with us, that would be great. Whoa. We found some strange noises with the bionic ears. This mustn't have been a scary place at all. Everyone's saying how, how horrifying this bathroom is. Something squeaked.
we seem to somehow make contact with Australia's most notorious murderer, Ivan Milat. Who, are, who am I? I'm Isaac. Who are you? It sounded like you went to say Ivan. It really sounded like you went to say Ivan. Is this Ivan Milat? Yes. You hear that? That was a yes. What was the name of the forest you dumped those bodies in? Belangelo, fuck me, did you hear that? That did sound like Belangelo. That did sound like Belangelo. That really did sound, did you hear that? That did sound like Belangelo. But it appears that still concrete evidence is just out of our reach. We need to keep hunting for the paranormal, keep trying to find something that stands out as concrete proof that ghosts exist. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining us tonight. It was certainly very creepy being in a giant complex full of death, lies, deceits, murder, the whole thing. It's very, very creepy here at Maitland Joe. You should come check it out. And if you do, get on one of the tours with the ghost grannies. They're the best in the business. They'll scare you. They'll make you shit yourself. It's a good old time. And Renata, thank you very much. And little Vicky. The best of the biz, the best, oh. of the best of the bloody biz, and me even bloody not bad also. But I tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, we enjoy making these videos. So head over to the Patreon, and you can see some behind-the-scenes footage. It costs you a dollar a month, you bloody tight asses. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, be a good motherfucker, peace in the Middle East, me dick stinks. Tulu, au revoir, bye bye. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoy these videos, then please head on over to Patreon to help us make more of them. You can also right now watch two more exclusive scenes from our night in Maitland Jail alongside a whole bunch of others where we investigate the room that belonged to George Savas, the last man to die in Maitland Jail. As well as that, check out the cell that we went into that was decorated by an alleged pedophile. It was really, really disturbing. Now, you can head over to Patreon right now to watch these exclusive scenes and a heap more, and you will also allow us to make more of these videos. Thank you very much for your support, you hot bits of gear.